segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to Farm Factor. Meet Dr. DeWolf as he discusses the potential for early wheat disease across Kansas. The wheat crop in Kansas has really uh, uh, been dry this year and uh, much of the growth and development has been uh, ahead of schedule because of warm conditions this spring and winter months. Uh, but we really should be seeing additional height to our crop. The dry conditions, I think, have, have held uh, the wheat crop in check, and we should be seeing wheat that's nearly twice this size here at Flag Leaf Emergence when the crop uh, has its last leaves. More recently, we had another freeze, and with the more advanced growth stage, we're a little concerned about what that's going to do to our wheat crop, primarily in central Kansas, where, again, the growth and development was well ahead of schedule. We also have had some significant disease problems to be watching as well. We've had stripe rust and more recently uh, leaf rust developing in the state as well, primarily at very low levels. And uh, the dry conditions have largely held these diseases in check for the moment. So we want to be encouraging growers right now to be out scouting their fields, checking for the potential indications of, of uh, stripe rust very low and those lower leaves mid canopy at this stage. It's not a major concern if the disease remains restricted to the lower canopy, but if it does move to these upper leaves at the time that the, the wheat crop is just entering the heading or early stages of grain filling, that's a major cause for concern. So it's important for growers to be out scouting their fields, looking for the disease at this stage, and if needed, uh, considering to, uh, uh, foliar fungicides that could help suppress the further development of the disease. Now, of course, the, the problem here is that it's trying to, growers in many cases are going to be trying to balance their uh, lower yield potential because of potential freeze injury, because of recent dry conditions, with the potential for offsetting uh, potential emerging threats from these diseases. So it's really a case-by-case, field-by-field type of situation where we have individual growers making decisions. It's very difficult to make uh, blanket recommendations in that case because it comes down to yield potential because it comes down to variety susceptibility and what level of disease you're seeing in individual fields. Ultimately, I think right now the yield potential and potential for freeze injury are going to be the, the major factors that could suppress a lot of uh, growers' interest in foliar fungicides and suppressing that disease. So hopefully uh, the wheat crop will continue to progress, we'll receive the rain that, uh, that we, our crop desperately needs, and uh, the yield potential that, uh, that we uh, need to harvest our grain will soon recover as well. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. We're here every Tuesday on Ag AM in Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.